This sound slide feature is sponsored by Aurora Insurance, a proud supporter of all Husky student athletes. It was a tale of two halves Friday in Aurora's district opener against York, and unfortunately for the Huskies, the Dukes owned the third and fourth quarters, claiming a 51-20 win in the rain. Aurora never led in the contest, but tied it twice during a scoring barrage midway through the first half when both teams traded back-to-back -to -back touchdowns in a span of six minutes. The Dukes led 21-20 at the half after blocking an extra point, and it looked like anybody's ball game. With rain pouring down consistently, the Dukes used a powerful front line and hard-nosed running back to dominate the second half with 30 unanswered points. Aurora finished with 30 rushing yards compared to 408 for York, most of which piled up in the second half. Simon Odie had 297 of those yards with three touchdowns. The Huskies had some success throwing the ball as Baylor Shireman completed 12 of 29 passes for 169 yards and three touchdowns. York threw for 112 yards, completing six of nine attempts. Cal Narber rushed for 38 yards, adding a 62-yard TD on a pass reception, and led the team in tackles with 24 stops. Up next for the Huskies is a critical district game with rival Grand Island Northwest. We're talking to a couple Husky seniors after a disappointing loss tonight against York. We'll start with you, Corey Geisler. Uh, big line facing you tonight for the Dukes. Uh, you guys played tough. Talk about the trench play. How did it feel up front? I knew that they were big and that we were going to have to bring it all. Um, we, were, we were trying to beat them with speed and get across them, but we just we just couldn't eat it up. Like we couldn't eat up all the double teams and stuff that they were throwing at us. This team has had a lot of good play this season. Uh, you talk about your role as a senior. Corey, how does it feel to, uh, to be part of the senior leadership? Um, it's been really fun. I can't really say much more. These sen this group of seniors is an amazing group. What's it mean to you to be a Husky? Um, I've actually been with the Huskies since sophomore year, so I haven't been watching them very much. Uh, it's They are a great group. I definitely wouldn't change anything that I've done. Okay. Big game next week against uh, Northwest and then the following week against Seward. Uh, your thoughts on this team's uh, momentum and effort going forward? I know that we'll bounce back and respond and pull out a few wins. Okay, good effort tonight, Corey. Talking to senior Slate Watson, uh, talk about your role on this team, Slate. Uh, honestly, just making sure like everybody's doing their part as uh, freshmen through uh, junior and seniors. We all help out. We all are a family. Like in years past, we haven't really been a family, but this year we're really focusing on getting everybody to fam being a family and chemistry with everybody. One of the traditions of this team that's really neat to see is carrying out of the American flag. I noticed that was your honor tonight. Uh, talk about that process, how, who, how you decide who gets to do it, and how did it feel for you tonight? Well, usually it's the scout team player of the week, but uh, we uh, just did a random pick this week and I really showed out, helping out, making our defense better. How did that feel to run out? It's an, it's an amazing feeling, going out with all, everybody being in the front of the pack, with, especially with the American flag. It's a huge honor. That's really nice. This season's coming down to the stretch run. Your thoughts on this team's uh, momentum and effort going forward? I, we're going to this, – this night, it probably brought us down, but Monday we're going to be back at practice going hard. Okay, well, nice job. Thanks for your time. Thank you. For timely game coverage, follow us on Twitter at SportsANR.